Yeah. Hell yeah, listen, I've been all over the place, got kidnapped by a whole ninja and everything. Oh, so typical nothing stuff. So. Yeah, pretty much typical nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, that's real talk. I don't think they understood you in that gun hill, George. Yeah, man, I know. I right. think you might have to keep your little body futuristic, to George Jesson. Oh, dude, it's like. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Word. Just like. The blab, robotic kick and flab, or flavor bit of batter, chill a chatter, batter than the mad hat. I bet you buy shit, come by fatter. I got the data to turn your body into anti-matter. And just like a piece of sizzling, you'll fit inside my stomach with the eggs and grits between. The king is what I mean. I mean, my man, get a cup and put some change inside your hand. Now hold up, let's make this official. Everybody, let's agree that MCs need a tissue. Wake them up. The folks, my only issue. I bet your mama miss you, and I bet the Mac take off like an MX missile. No more of your whining on the charts climbing as I make the funk kicking out my harder than a diamond. And if you didn't know who's rhyming, I guess I'm gonna say Craig Mac with perfect timing. You won't be around next year, my rap's too severe, kicking my flavor in your head. Here comes the brand new flavor in your head. Time for new flavor in your ear. I'm kicking new flavor in your ear. Mac, the brand new flavor in your ear. Craig Mac, 1,000 degrees. You'll be on your knees and you'll be burning, begging, please. Brother Freeze, man's indisputed and deep-rooted. Folks smoke and leaves your brains booted. This is 126, El Deposito de Barrio, located in East Harlem, aka the village hidden in the cheeks. Ah! Cause once you step out there, honey, the bad nicks, oh my god. Hey, listen, if you know, you know. Just make sure you don't stay out there past 10, or you'll become past tense. Bars. And speaking of bars, there's gonna be a diss track at the end of this video. And to the individual that's getting dissed, I needed time to think about how I was gonna cook you. All those years of talking shit from a distance, now I'ma talk my shit from a distance. The difference is that when I speak, I speak volumes. And you will hear me, whether you like it or not. You've been talking shit about me since 2015. Then on top of that, your punk ass got nerve to send me an ashy ass friend request on Facebook. Don't think I don't know about that. I let you walk around here for years thinking shit was sweet. Guess what? Time's up. I want this video to be a reminder to you and those like you. Don't you ever in life, so long as you have a hole in your ass, ever fuck with me or the ones that I care about. Tell them, Nico. Nobody fucks with my family. Hey, listen, man to man, you got a good poker face. At the end of the day, I'm the one with La Mano. Now, the routes out of 126 are the M15, local and chicken select bus service, M31, M35, M60, and M116. The buses used are RTSs, New Flyer D60HF Galaxies, golf carts, and Nova LFSAs. Now that y'all know about that, it's time for you to know a little bit more with the history trip. Originally a trolley yard in 1947, 126 was opened by Surface Transit, the successor to the streetcars of the 3rd Avenue Railway. Later, it would be used by New York City Omnibus until 1962, where it would be taken over by the TA. When its parent company, 5th Avenue Coach, folded, it started housing buses and soon after became the northern terminal for the M15, which apparently is the second busiest route in the system behind the B46. Flatbush, we still trying to figure out how y'all do it. Fun fact, 126 actually had other routes to the side from the ones that I mentioned earlier. Those being the M57 and M66. Hell, even the M72, now that I think about it. These routes moved to Michael J. Quill in 2010. Even that weird ass X80 was there until I think about 2013. I could be wrong, but we just gonna say 2013. Now allow me to address the elephant in the room. Are you talking about me? No, sir, just talking about the Devo. Okay, thank you, darling. Good day. I cannot figure that man out for the life of me. The theme song for 126 is obviously Flavor in Your Air by Craig Mack. The reason why that was chosen is because it suits the vibe and the style of the depot. Not just that, but the area of East Harlem in general. It's like Red Hook in the 90s. Only difference is that there's crackheads on every block. Ever since they got rid of that McDonald's on 125, aka the crackhead respawn point, these crazy niggas have been bugging the fuck out. Who knew that it would be that much of a pain in the ass to live in East Konoha? All I wanted to do was come out of the house and go to Cuchi Fritos and get me some arroz con dules. But no. Can't do that shit either. Why? Because they're terrorizing the fucking streets. Got me coming out of the house looking at them like, What's wrong with you? What's wrong with y'all? You 
niggas are crazy! There's also a certain special reason as to why it has that theme song, which I can't speak on in this video, but more than likely you guys will probably have to come see me in person for that information. What I can say is this, a certain someone's mother loves this song. And understanding her, her background, and her story, it was all I needed to place this song 126. Your hint to who that is will be at the end of the video during the diss track. Hey, your bitch made ass better be paying attention. I'm like a Ruka with this video, and class is in session. Bars. No, but the actual elephant in the room is the fact that 126 is officially closed down. Let me explain. Now the location of where 126 sits at back in the day was actually an African American burial ground. In 2009, a group of community leaders formed the Harlem African Burial Ground Task Force to advocate for a memorial built on that site. Fast forward to January 2015 and the MTA closes down 126 Depot for good. Once that happened, they got to work and discovered the bones right then and there. Now here's the thing, because of this, Service wise, we are suffering our asses off. 126 was the reason why we had a healthy amount of backup in Manhattan in the first place. Yeah, sure, the quality of the buses were hit and miss, but at the end of the day, you still got service. Plus, they threw whatever they had in there out there. Didn't matter what it was and didn't matter what line it was. That was the reason why us transit fans loved 126 like we did. 126 radiated big PP energy. They gave you an RTS on an M15 and dared you to do something about it. 126 mainly played the role of backup depot. But it did its job, and well I might add. Not only that, but then most of the drivers over there were cool as hell too. Just don't be on no dickhead shit because they can get active real quick with that. Well my honest opinion, not trying to be a dick, but I'd rather keep the depot open. Reason I'm saying that is because Tuskegee needs help desperately nowadays. They have to pull from every other depot just to have service on the lines. 126 was the best backup depot for Tuskegee just in case of shit went south. And shit has pretty much gone south. And it's honestly not their fault. Shit just happens. Now I'm not against the task force for trying to go for that goal to build a memorial. I know it may seem like it because of the shit that I'm saying, but it's definitely not the case. My whole thing is this, why not build a memorial with the bus depot at the same time. Like rebuild the entire depot, have the buses on the bottom, and have the memorial on the top. It's a win for both parties. You can have a separate entrance for anybody that wants to go upstairs to see the memorial. Meanwhile, downstairs, the MTA is still kicking a new flavor in your ear with 126 still being open. At the end of the day, it's just a suggestion. Now, as a fan, I love 126. Hell, 126 is the reason why we caught all the craziest catches back in the day, even when it came down to shuttle buses. And speaking of shuttle buses, 126 was always there when it came to a subway shuttle. Mind you, they'd be the most out of pocket one there. Everybody's sitting there using Orion 5s and RTSs. Here they come with the Nova LFSA. And fresh out the box too on top of that. Still got the new bus smell and everything. Again, big PP energy. One thing I could definitely say for sure is that I know some of you are probably wondering what an XD40 or an XD60 would look like coming out of 126. And honestly, I really don't blame you guys for that. Hell, I've thought the same thing myself to be honest, but you know what? It is what it is. Ain't really much we could do about it. Overall, 126 was that depot that had the exact mentality that we was looking for in a bus depot. And that mentality was fuck it send it. Overall 126 was that depot that you really could not sleep on. Its existence was so crucial that getting rid of it is an issue for the rest of Manhattan. And you can see that even now because there's still storing buses in 126. Then with Manhattanville under attack by City College, what do you do? Now that's two depots that's down and out. And you can't put everything on Quill and Tuskegee because they already have their own shit to begin with. But again, who the fuck is this red asshole, right? Overall, 126 was that depot that had that good shit. Sure, in the maintenance department, not everything was up to par. But I tell you what, at least the bitch ran. And sure, some of their buses broke down in the middle of the street. But 126 would specifically be on it like white on right, trying to hurry up and get that bus back in service before the day's over. And that, we got no choice but to respect. Hell, depending on the time of day, the timing of the buses was somewhat reasonable as well. With the exception of the M116, of course. I mean, you're going across the entirety of Manhattan, so don't expect much. So for the guys that's ever worked in 126 Depot, we thank you guys so much for the service that you guys have given us throughout the years. I'll give 126 a 9 out of 10. It was a backup depot and did its job and well as a backup depot on top of that. Aside from the half and half maintenance, 126 did wonders just by playing its position. Meanwhile, taking care of its own routes at the same time. Hey, listen, nobody can really be mad at that. But what I can be mad at is this punk ass motherfucker right here. I only got one thing to say to you. Matter of fact, I won't even need to say it. I got somebody else who'll say it for me. Who also, like myself, comes from Swingset Street. Eat a dick. And while you're at it, 
Try using some cocoa butter, because that scar on your face is mad crusty, my nigga. So with that said, this is Knuckles of the Super Subway Brothers telling you to stand clear of the goddamn closing doors. You won't be around next year, my rap scoops are big, kicking my flavor in your head. Here comes the brand new flavor in your head. Time for new flavor in your ear. I'm kicking new flavor in your ear. Back to brand new flavor in your ear. Drink back. One thousand. Pay attention, I'ma get y'all with this 10 hit and make your head split with my catchphrase that I end with. Yeah. You best quit, cause I ain't the one to mess with, the one to test with, the one to play mental chess okay. with. See, I'm the legend and you not in my league. Yeah. You can try to step to me and you'll understand fatigue. Okay. You trying to make kill shots with your free throws, yeah. you know I eat those like the chicken at Coochie Frito. Okay. Now hold up. I'm as tall as your door. Yeah. Remember your past, I had you shook to your core. Okay. So peep game, now you mad cause you wanna win. Yeah. Had your ass get vibe checked by a wonder twin. I'm in the barrio, chillin', blastin' Craig Mac. Yeah. And X's in the house, so come through and get your koofy smack. The goat is back, so turn around and start booking. And inhale so you can smell. What the fuck is cooking? Here comes the brand new flavor in We kicking new flavor in your ear. Knucks and Max new flavor in your ear. Here comes the brand new flavor in your ear. Get a Max, it's time for new flavor in your ear. We kicking brand new flavor in your ear. Knucks and Max new flavor in your ear. Ah. See, y'all already know exactly where I'm heading to after this shit. Yeah, it sure smells good in here. That's because this block's real! I'm glad I bought it. Mm -hmm. I gotta stay hydrated. 